Hey, it's Leslie from Jolie Lee Creations. When I first started bag making, I really struggled with cutting rectangles and squares, so I wanted to do a video to show you how I accurately cut rectangles and squares using a ruler. So, let's get started. Most bag making patterns call for squares or rectangles to be cut for the pattern. We will need a ruler, a marking pen, and a rotary cutter or scissors. I find it super important to use a ruler that has non-slip surface on the back. Rulers without this will just slide around on the fabric, making it harder to cut straight lines. In this video, I'll be using the Sew Fraction Rulers from Sewful Therapy. These rulers feature non-slip surface on the back to prevent the ruler from sliding around. They also have the numbers in fractions to make it easy to read. These rulers come in a variety of sizes and colors. Today, I will be using the 6x24 and the 3x18. Because of the orange color on the 6x24 inch ruler, I'll be using the first generation ruler, which is marked with purple and black. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make a straight edge. We're going to eyeball the ruler along one of the edges, it doesn't matter which one we do, and we're just going to cut a straight line down the fabric. Turn your fabric around so the straight edge is along the bottom. Line up a line on the straight edge of the ruler and get it as close to the edge of the fabric as you can, making sure to cut a straight line along a second edge. This will give us a 90 degree angle. This piece that we are cutting is going to be 10 by 8. To get the third side that we need to get straight, we're going to line up the fabric to the 10 inch mark. Using the straight edge that we have already cut, we are going to mark 10 inches along the top. In order to get an accurate straight line, we need at least three points or lines drawn on the fabric. So now we need to rotate our fabric again, line up the straight edge that we have already cut, and line that up with the marks that we just drew for our 10 inch and cut along the line. Now we are going to do the same thing for our final side. Our final side is eight inches, so we're going to mark our eight inch line from our bottom straight edge that we have previously cut. Just wanna really make sure that bottom line is aligned perfectly with our straight edge and marking our three points. Rotate our fabric, line up the straight edge that we've already cut with a straight edge on the ruler the three marks that we have just cut and cut along the lines. Now we can check that we have a 10 by 8 rectangle. So let's make another one. This one is going to be 10 by 6 and 3 quarters. So we start by making a straight edge on one side. Flip our fabric around, make another straight edge lining up a line on the ruler with the straight edge that we just cut to give us a 90 degree angle. Now we have two straight edge sides. We're going to mark our 10 inch mark along the top, making sure that we mark three points Now we're going to rotate our fabric and cut along the three points that we just made. Now we're going to mark out our line for our six and three quarter inch side. As always, we need at least three points to get an accurate edge. So we're going to mark a few more dashes of a six and three quarter inch line. Line up the straight edge with a straight edge on the ruler. 
and cut on the dashed lines that we just made. And there we have our 10 by 6 and 3 quarter inch rectangle. Moving along to the next piece, we'll be doing 10 and a half by 5 and a quarter. Cut our straight edge on one side, lining up the bottom with the straight edge. Make sure to catch all the fabric and cut our 90 degree corner. Mark our 10 and a half inch and cut the third side down. Because this ruler is six inches wide and we only need five and a quarter, we can use our five and a quarter inch mark along the ruler to mark our fourth and final side. We want to make sure that we line up all the squared sides that we have to the straight lines on the ruler and cut our ten and a half inches off. Verify our size and move on to the next piece. This piece that we'll be cutting is 10 and a half by 10 and a half. Cut our first straight edge, cut our second straight edge using the bottom straight edge that we just cut to make our 90 degree angle. We're going to measure 10 and a half inches up from the bottom, making sure to get at least three points before we cut the 10 and a half inch side. Oops, I just realized that this piece is actually supposed to be 10 and a half by 14 inches. So we're going to measure 14 inches from the bottom, our three lines, to mark our 14 inches, line up the bottom, and cut down our marks. Our 10 and a half by 14 inch rectangle. For our next piece here, we need two 14 inch by 2 inch pieces. So I'm going to start by cutting our first straight edge, our second 90 degree edge, and I'm using my smaller ruler here so that I can use the 2 inch mark on this ruler. So I'm going to line up the 2 inches and the 14 inches on the ruler, cut down the long side and the short side. There we have our first strip going to line up again on the 2 inch mark and the 14 inch mark and cut down the long and short side to give us our two pieces. And there we have it. That's how easy it is to make squares and rectangles. If this video has helped you in any way, please make sure to like the video below and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. You can also join us in our Facebook group, Creating with Joe Lely. We'd love to have you there. Thanks so much.